These are supporters of Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, who came to the federal court building in Buenos Aires to protest against Argentina's judiciary. Kirchner was sentenced to six years in prison and given a lifetime ban on holding public office after being found guilty of corruption. It's the first time an Argentinian vice president has been convicted of a crime whilst in office. Un solo, un solo medio. Luis Delia says Kirchner is a victim of political persecution. Y lo que quieren ellos es eso. What they want to do is get her out of politics in a good way or a bad way. They failed to kill her and now they have this option. Three months ago, Kirchner was the target of an assassination attempt when a man pulled the trigger of his handgun inches from her face as she greeted supporters. The gun failed to fire. On Tuesday, a panel of three judges found Kirchner guilty of aggravated fraud. Condenar uh, Cristina Elizabeth Fernandez de Kirchner is sentenced to six years imprisonment, life disqualification from holding public office, legal accessories and the cost of the proceedings because she is criminally responsible for the offense of fraudulent administration to the detriment of the public. Kirchner is accused of directing millions of dollars of public works contracts to a family friend. Prosecutors say they have found dozens of irregularities in public works contracts in the province of Santa Cruz, where the Kirchner family originally comes from. The former president denies all charges, accusing the tribunal in charge of a political witch hunt and serving the interests of the opposition. This is much simpler. It's not lawfare. It's not a judiciary party. It's not a parallel state and mafia. It's a judicial mafia. Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner was Argentina's president for eight years, between 2007 and 2015. She is now this country's vice president. She's a divisive figure in this country. While there are many who continue to support her, there are many others who would like to see her in prison. Kirchner is expected to appeal against the court's decision. Despite her conviction, she has congressional immunity and is unlikely to head to jail anytime soon. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.